Captain Sensible, about time you picked up. Where have you been lately? Have you, haven't, you haven't uploaded a, a review on your channel for ages. Germany? What are you doing there? Uh, you're working on a building site? Why? It's fun, really? Oh, right, out drinking. Girls too. Oh, don't tell your wife. You did what? <laughs> wow, that's living all right. Working on the side from morning till night That's living all right That's living all right Then a pint with the boys in a bar full of noise That's, That's living all right That's living all right Working all day for a kid who's a pain And blow it all on Saturday night Ah, oh, spread all me money And you kiss the dames but you don't ask their names That's living all right Tell my wife, alright? Working in the sun, drinking schnapps, having fun. That's living alright. That's living alright. Living a night in the town, spreading it around. That's, That's living alright. That's living alright. She doesn't know, won't hurt her, don't worry. When you play the game, then it's healthy to say that's living all right. Nothing to worry about. Selling the lie with a glint in your eye. Let's know you'll be back on the side. And you kiss the dames, but you don't ask their names. That's living all right. Who needs to know their names anyway? When you play the game, then it's healthy to say. Living all right. That's, That's living, living all right. right. You only live once. We've got a right to have fun. That's living all right. That's living all right. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So an exciting one today because we're going to be talking about a new release from Dua Fragrances which resurrects one of my all-time classic fragrances in my collection. That's the vintage formula of Dior's Eau Sauvage, a famous Dior Eau Sauvage. So really exciting. Dua Fragrances have brought us their version and that is called Cosmopolitan Vintage. So Dua with Cosmopolitan Vintage have taken a vintage bottle of Eau Sauvage, one of the great, great fragrances of all time, and they've analysed it and they've recreated it as closely as they possibly can in this 30ml extract de parfum. I love when Dua Fragrances do this. There's a load of stuff out there from Dua Fragrances, clones of niche stuff that you can still buy the original fragrance today. They do hybrid fragrances where they've mixed Aventus with Virgin Island Water by Creed and, and do a kind of take on that. Really good stuff. But this is probably my favorite thing that they do when they reissue vintage fragrances. There's a few great ones that they've already done. So they've given us Pour On, which is their take on Dolce & Gabbana's Discontinued By Man. Fantastic, almost exactly the same smell. Impossible near to, to get this uh, Dolce & Gabbana By Man these days. River Fougere. River Fougere is their take on Yves Saint Laurent's Rive Gauche Pour On, the original tin can version. Again, now very, very hard to get a hold of. Fantastic barbershop scent. And again, you, you can I can honestly say as an owner of both, almost exactly the same smell and uh, even better performance. So fantastic. And they've also just recently sent me Dewar's Masculinity, which is their take on the discontinued DNG classic Masculine. So let me know if you want a full review on that one. Just testing that one out this week. Uh, also, my other thing that came in the mail, these were all sent free. Thank you very much to Dewar, but I will give you the pros and cons, honestly. Uh, Vintage Roots 1948 is their resurrection of Creed's original Vetiver, or was it called, I'm not sure what it was called, Vetiver or Original Vetiver, I'll have to check that, which was first released in 1948, a really famous uh, classic fragrance. So really looking forward to checking that one out. So let's get into the subject that we're actually supposed to be talking about today and that's Dua's Resurrection of Eau Sauvage. Cosmopolitan Vintage. So if you want to find the old formula of Dior Eau Sauvage, it's a little bit hard to do. Uh, you've got to find one that has a box like this. That's how you know the modern bottle looks just like this. It's still a really good fragrance but at some point, I'm not exactly when, 
sure when they changed it so that the, the oak moss got limited and the new one is a little bit watered down it's a very nice fresh crisp citrus aromatic fragrance but it doesn't quite have the magic of the old formula so you're looking for this kind of box if you find it on ebay or there's a couple of bottle designs from different eras if you see ones that look like these the kind of crappy looking plastic cap or the other longer fit they're definitely going to be vintage and should smell good but there's always a risk that they've gone off and that kind of thing so it's risky so do have re resurrected it and uh, i'm very very impressed so far with the smell of this one let's before we uh, talk about the doer version let's find out a little bit about this classic release from dior and why it's so highly important and highly rated so Dior's famous Eau Sauvage was first introduced in 1966 and it was Dior's first perfume for men. In fact, there's a story that the name comes from the fact that apparently Christian Dior's friend, Percy Savage, was invited to his home shortly before they came up with this fragrance. He asked Savage to help him find a name for the perfume. And when Savage arrived, he was announced by Dior's butler as Monsieur Sauvage. And the designer said, oh, Sauvage, Eau Sauvage would be a fitting name. Brilliant. Uh, on the release of the fragrance, adverts featured the, the famous French actor Alain Delon. And he's, uh, he's been in loads of adverts for it over the years, actually, including some of the flankers and follow-ups to it. And it's an absolutely classic fragrance, a citrus aromatic scent. And it uh, contains notes of lemon, bergamot, basil, rosemary, caraway, fruity notes, mid notes of jasmine, coriander, patchouli, carnation, and orris root, sandalwood and rose. And the base notes are oak moss, vetiver, musk and amber. And the perfume it was... Edmund Rudnitz got a, he got a prestigious five-star rating in Luca Turin's first edition of his Perfumes the Guide with his uh, partner Tanya Sanchez. And it's also kind of famous, actually, if you Google it online, for including the... It was, I think, the first perfume or fragrance to include the note of Hedione. And that's a very, very important fragrance note. And it's apparently sort of sort of derived from, or it has some similarities to Jasmine. Um, the actual chemical that is given this name is methyl dehydrojasmonate. So there you get the, the kind of uh, jasmine link. And in, apparently it's sort of summarised as being fresh and floral um, compared often to the smell of jasmine with a hint of citrus mixed in, which, you know, is kind of a lot of what you do get with Eau Sauvage. It was the uh, company Ferminic, which I'm sure many of you heard of, uh, the Swiss company, fragrance company, who actually invented and patented the compound. And the name Hedione is derived from the Greek word Hedone, meaning fun, pleasure, and or lust, importantly, because this ingredient supposedly, so it says online, stimulates the hypothalamus, an area of the brain which releases sex hormones in women. So I'm sure we'd all like to stimulate that area. And in other words, it, it's meant to be uh, literally, you know, genuinely an aphrodisiac for women. Whether that's true or not, uh, I'll leave you to decide. So the, the note listing, they're the same for doers fragrance as well. And uh, let's get stuck into a little bit more, more information about that one. So there we go. Yes, a classic citrus aromatic fragrance from Dior. And of course, it's, you know, it's really, really been a huge seller over many, many years. And, uh, you know, even it's had so much traction that when they brought out their new release in 2015, they called it Sauvage to, to kind of pull on the traction of this legendary fragrance. That's a completely different thing in the blue bottle. I've had quite a few bottles over the years. I've got a nearly empty 50 mil one. I've got another backup bottle here. In here, an Eau de Toilette Splash, which has had some use. That was the first one I ever had, which I decanted. So it's a fragrance I'm extremely familiar with. And I'm going to give you the verdict on the Dewar version. This is priced for a 30 mil X-ray de Parfum. You, it's $55, I believe. Dewar do often have really good deals going on. So if you if you um, find their website, I, I'll link them in the description. I'm not, I'm not trying to promote them, but I'll link them in the description just to help you. And there's often an offer. I'm filming this on Independence Day weekend. So there's a really good offer on at the moment. And there, there's often a discount. So you can get it for less than $55 off. And I do believe that it's not a problem for them to ship to the UK because I got my bottle pretty quickly. So basically it's an extremely good copy they've done a brilliant job it's, i think it must be very hard because some of the ingredients that used to be used maybe can't be got so you know it's never going to be exact but if you are a fan of if you fondly remember this old formula or maybe you have a little bit left in the bottom of a bottle maybe it's gone off a little bit the notes are changing you're thinking how the hell do i get some more i think you're going to be very very happy with this i've actually got a little bit on a card of each one i've been i've, I've worn a lot of this considering i've had it actually less than a week so I've really sprayed some, and oh, it's such a lovely, this, that's the Dua version. And my vintage bottle here, maybe it's just beginning to lose some of the brightness in the citrus notes. 
The thing is, if you get both fragrances, if you're lucky enough to you buy this and you've already got the original, you spray them on a card, you do a side by side, that's when you're probably gonna say, oh no, it's not quite exactly the same, because it's not, it's, it's never going to be. Um, and it, of course, your aged bottle will have had some change in its smell. So it's really, really hard to do a side by side on, on this kind of up close basis. You're gonna pick, you will pick differences. It's not that the uh, doer smells worse, but it's actually got a more bright, citrusy, fresh opening. Again, that could be to, due to some of the aging inevitable in an older bottle. My real test has been based on wearing it out quite a bit actually in the last couple of days. So I've worn Dior's Eau Sauvage Vintage out a lot. I've got the odd compliment on that one actually. So it seems ladies do like it. Was a lady in a coffee shop ages ago gave me an unsolicited comment as I ordered a cappuccino. And the same thing happened with Cosmo Vintage, a Cosmopolitan Vintage. I was in the supermarket today, one of those self-checkout things. Do you have those in the States, guys? You know, they, they want to save money on paying any stuff. So you, you do your own, you scan your own stuff. And a lady had to come up and approve my booze to say that I'm over 18. And she said, you smell nice. And that was on the doer version. So that's a total, you know, she doesn't know who, who I am about the Mr. Smelly channel. She wasn't thinking I'd better say something about his fragrance. Totally unsolicited comments, compliment. So that's a great start. The guy who I are now am friends with, I hope I can say, in, uh, in Subway, it, where I go often for a sandwich and a coffee, sort of early evening time or mid evening, in, uh, in no, but I don't want you lot turning up, N near where I live, uh, he, his name's James, Canadian guy, and he, he's found out that I'm into perfume and he rates my perfume every day and he really rated this one. He said it smelled like a day at the beach, a seaside kind of vibe. He said it was very fresh and he agreed that the name Eau Sauvage was a perfect, description of it and he said it was, it was a real strong one so good science so far basically in your experience of wearing it in the air the doer version is going to come off very very familiar if you've worn this lovely classic old version it's the same sillage those notes the beautiful crisp bergamot citrus that kind of jasmine-esque thing that is heady own stroke jasmine the note listing only says jasmine but both fragrances i'm sure contain the healthy dose of hedione that is key and that crisp woody masculine dry down someone in a, in a thing said a, a sort of slightly uh, someone said even a pissy dry down on the doer site not in a bad way he meant like in a good he means i don't think this you know when people say urinal it's got that old school slightly musky dry down so it's really really pleasant it's actually sexy so in essence, this is a classy, gentlemanly, fresh, citrus, aromatic fragrance with complexity and depth. It's leaning a little bit more for the more mature gentleman. The, the guy in the sandwich shop, James, said, you know, it felt like a more grown up type of smell, a little bit old school. It's, it's not more of, a, it's, it's not the one that's going to massively appeal to you, maybe if you're 21. It's not old in a dated way, but it, it does have that classic vibe. So classic, refined, fresh little bit retro in a beautiful way is, is the essence of what you're getting with this fragrance. And it's just everything you would hope for, I think, in a clone of the, the original fragrance. So, so happy that Dura have done that. So great performance, lovely opening, very sharp, very zesty, very bright, crisp floral tones, this lovely kind of green herbal thing. Luca Turin in his book said that he believed uh, that the perfumer Rodnitska had sort of created a magical Vietnamese salad accord. I have no idea what that means. I have never had a Vietnamese salad, but there is a lovely green leafiness as well. It's a complex fragrance and, and both versions here share that. And it's absolutely gentlemanly and classy and I really, really enjoy it. So well worth checking this one out. Uh, positives and negatives, I wanna be objective. I am sent these for free. I'm very grateful and you know, I'm very fortunate in that, but you guys have to pay, so you, you know, it's not so nice for you to just get lovely stuff sent free. So let's see what you might like, what you might not like. So if you want a copy of the original, that smells very, very close and does the same, the same job in wearing it for a decent price, then this is absolutely superb. Negatives, well, it's not a Dior fragrance. It's not a well-known prestigious brand. It's Dua. I think they're a great brand, but it's you know it's, it's not going to look as cool on your mantelpiece probably that compared to that, and it's not that cheap. You know, it's uh, it's compared to an Armaf clone of something, or you know Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is not a cheap fragrance. Uh, you know, it's it's competitive with the price of. Uh, or designer fragrance so it's not that cheap and the packaging is basic so you may say well I don't want that for that kind of price I want something that looks a bit more snazzy so I get that also it's nothing original they haven't created a new perfume and the rate that they knock out all these new ones you may say well, you may be cynical and you may say well they're obviously not real perfumers they've just got a, a system set up 
with machinery that analyzes things and pumps out these clones. And probably, you know, if you'd have to agree that is to some extent what happens, but the result can be really good. So take your pick, pays your money, take your pick, see if you agree that this one is absolutely superb. I can give this 100% alongside my other big favorites when they've done this kind of thing, River, Fougere, uh, the, uh, the Dolce & Gabbana masculine uh, one is pretty good, but haven't talked about that yet. Uh, and Pour On, the, the Buy Man. Also, oh, Sheepra Supreme, their take on Moss Brushes by Tom Ford. That is really good. I need to do more on that in a video. Guys, let me know what you think about all that in the comments down below. Have you tried the original Eau Sauvage? Have you picked this one up yet? Let me know. I'm interested to find out. Guys, remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And, of course, the other new catchphrase for me is... Sometimes life stinks, but we can always smell good. Goodbye.